All right, so here we are today. We're gonna to do the rear wheel bearing on a Ford Edge 2008. So what we gotta do is take off the center nut here. We have our 32 mil socket. So that's gonna go like that. And then at the rear here, you can see there's some bolts for the calipers there. Those are both 15 mil volt, 15 mil bolts. So we have our trusty uh, ratchet we're gonna get in there. And then we have a specialty tool. I'll show you later how that uh, has to work because if you don't have this tool, you're never gonna get it out. So we've taken the first nut off and if you can see here, there's actually another one behind it. So we'll do those, both 32 mil. All right, so we've taken off these bolts here. We've just unloosened them, the 15 mil one, and then on the bottom two, you can see I just took them off. So what we can do now is take off this whole caliper assembly. There's no need to split it, but as you'll see, it's really, really tight. So what we're gonna do is just get a pry bar in here, just like this. And then as you can see, there you go. We're just pulling it off like this. So we're just gonna pull it off. All right, now we've given the rotor a couple good whacks to uh, free it up. So you can see here, we're pulling off the rotor. So the rotor is off. And now we'll have to get the bolts uh, from the back with a special tool, and I will show you how to do that. Okay, so we are underneath the vehicle, and you can see the Torx bits, where they go, one, two, and there's a third one. Now without this tool, you will never be able to get a socket in there. So we can put this tool in, and you can see there, it's gonna go in like this, it's in. And you can see actually how close it is to the ABS ring. So without this tool, never gonna happen. And then here now we have room, we can just put a regular socket on it, a 9 16 and then we're gonna zip them out with the gun. Okay, so we've taken out the first bolt uh, right in there, it's loose, it's still there. There's uh, second, third, and fourth on the other side. Okay, so I have learned that the impact gun can't get into all of them. So there's that one right there with that bolt. You can see it goes in there super duper tight. There we go. Yeah, I'll try to focus on there. There you go. You... All right, so here we have a different view. So I was able to get my ratchet on uh, in there. So we're gonna try wrenching it out just from, uh, from the backside uh, here. And yes, that uh, that works. So we can see there we have still the extension on the special extension. And if you look in there, e there it is. Yeah, there's a bolt turning. So we can spin it out from the back, just like that. And you can see it coming out from the back. And now we're gonna try to get the top one. You can see there's the tool. You can pull it out, put it back in. And in, in the bottom, you can see the other one's actually loose. That's that other one down in there. And there's the tool from this side. So we're gonna use a wrench and we're gonna wrench it out. And it actually worked out quite, uh, quite well. There it is, I'm turning it. And if you look in there, you can see I'll focus. There, you can see it's loose. You can actually see it moving right in there. Okay, so we got all the bolts loose from the back, everything's loose. We can actually see uh, the clearance within the bearing. Let's see if I can get you a better angle. You can hear it wiggling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a special tool on because I can't push this in. We don't want a hammer on it. Okay, so we have our tool all set up. Just use lug nuts for these. Here's the center screw. We have it attached to our gun. So what we can do is just give the... There you go, and you can see it's right in there like that. And we can push it out, just like that. Okay, so the bearing was stuck onto the backing plate. So here's the whole backing plate. You can see the bearings there. And this, it just goes back onto here, just like that and then you line it up and it'll go through. So uh, as you can see, the brakes are all rusty. 
Here's the bearing. It's still stuck in the backing plate. There's the, there's the bearing right there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hammer it out uh, right from the back. And I'll show you that in a minute. And here's those other bolts. That's what they look like. We'll make sure they're clean, but you can even see there and they won't, uh, they won't go out or they can't lose them. Okay, so we have the new bearing. This is what the new bearing looks like, just like that. You can see, brand new. It's a hub and bearing assembly, one piece. It matches this one perfect. Now, if you look, this lip right here, that I'm pointing to with my finger, this lip, this is where we're gonna bang on the old bearing. So if we look on the back, we're gonna be able to see that lip, and that lip is right there. So, taking a close look this slip is this slip so we'll bang there and it'll pop right through the hole all right so as promised we bang the bearing out that's it and there's the back just like that so you can see just like that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a wire wheel and we're just gonna clean this up a little bit here Put a little bit of anise so the new bearing goes in uh, it goes in nice and then we're going to line it all back up and put it together okay so we've taken our wire wheel and you can see in there all the rust is all cleaned up all the way around so we're just going to test fit our new bearing so we can just go like this take it and there it just drops right in and if we look from the back how it looks just like that you can see just like that. So now we'll line it up and put it back together. Okay, so in addition, I cleaned the bolts a little bit. Now a little learning thing here to tell you, all, all I did was with the wire wheel is just clean the very tips of them. You don't wanna clean the threads. And the reason you don't wanna clean the threads, if you've noticed, none of these bolts are rusted. And this material here Ford actually puts on like an anti-coating. I don't know if it's zinc coated or what it is. So they don't rust. So if you take your wire, wire wheel and you clean this whole thing up so it's shiny steel again, what'll happen is they will rust in the new bearing. So next time you're trying to take it off, uh, they will rust. So there it's already got nice clean threads, but you can see on here, there's no anti uh, seize or any type of coating on it. It's just bare steel. So these actually have the coating on. So just so you know, don't take a wire wheel to the whole bolt, just the very edges, leave this coating on. Uh, and then this way it'll come out next time. Cause if you take this off and it rusts inside here, good luck trying to take it off next time. You might not be able to get it off. So my tip. Okay, so, so we've popped this thing back on here. You can actually see the bolts right there. Um, and then here's your bearing. I put a little bit of anti-seize -se just around the edges there. You can actually see it right there just so it's nice. So then what we would do is we pick, pick up the bearing like this. We're just gonna slide it on just like this. And then what we're gonna do is line it up. There we go. And then you can see the, the bolts there. And then what I'll do is I'll basically just push it on and start the bolts by hand and then we'll tighten it up. Okay, we're back underneath now. We have it sort of snugged up. We're still snugging up the bolts. You can see there's one, two, three right up there and there's the fourth one there there's a better view of this one I still have to snug up you can see there's a there's a tool there we go and I'm turning it okay so we got all our bolts tightened you can actually see them uh, right in there there's their one there's two and then the other two on the bottom we got our center nut there. There we go. Our center nut there. We're gonna tighten up that nice and tight, and then we gotta make sure we put our second nut on top, which is this one right here, and that'll go on top. And my four does it, I guess, like a like a lock nut. And then we'll put the rotor on, caliper, and then we'll be done. Okay, so we got the two nuts on right there. We put some anti-seize around there. You can see it's quite rusty there. We're gonna be doing the brakes, uh, rear brakes a little bit later, but for now we're not gonna do that. So we're just gonna grab the rotors, or the rotor, and we're gonna push it on. Put it on just like this. Here's our rotor. 
There's that. We can just line it up just like this if we can. Where are we here? There we go. Yeah, just like that. And then what we'll do is we just got to wiggle it uh, for the emergency brake uh, emergency brake shoes that are in there just to center them, then the rotor will pop on, and then we're going to put the, the brake caliper back on. It'll just slide right back on. Okay, so I've thrown this on. You can see here's actually the whole brake caliper itself. I never took it apart. I never split it, so there's just the two 15 mil bolts in the back. You can actually see there's a hole right there. One, there's a second hole. So that's going to go there. So we can center it just like this. It's on, and now if we look at the back, we will see, you can see the two bolt holes, one, and you can see the other one's down at the bottom. So that's good. So what we can do is just take our bolt, just like this, and then we'll just jumble it around a bit, center our bolts, two bolts, and then that's it, done.